Let me guess, you want to start automating LinkedIn outreach or you already are automating it, but you're worried you're going to get banned. That's actually a very real problem, but it's also a very avoidable one as well. And it's actually a very healthy thing that you're thinking about it because LinkedIn is extremely valuable and not something that you want to lose. Now you're already doing some LinkedIn actions. Now does more LinkedIn actions mean more meetings, more leads, more pipe generated? No, it doesn't. It actually means you're probably going to get banned. But there is an easy way that you can set your limits and make sure that doesn't happen. So how does it work? Well, let me show you here. Very simply, you go up here, go to settings, click on limits, and there you go. Here you have the three types of LinkedIn activity that you can automate with Lemlist. And here you have the limits that you can adjust as you wish. Now here you'll see that when I click over 30, Lemlist gives a little message just to make sure that you stay in the safe zone because going over 30 isn't really the best idea. This is the same for each of the actions, account visits. So visiting someone's profile automatically. Sending them a message more than 30 per day within 24 hours isn't the best idea because it's safer to have around about 100 actions per day. And even then, all I do is I keep it to these limits. I don't touch them at all. I keep them to 30, 30, 30. Whether or not you use all of them is a different story. But because you've got multi-channel campaigns, the power of the emails and the power of LinkedIn working at the same time is enough without you needing to do 50, 100 connections per day. You just don't need to do that. Let's just do some quick maths, for example you don't proving that you don't need to overdo it. Let's say you do 30 invites per day and you have seven days a week, that's 210 invites per week. Multiply that by four, that's 440 connections per month. You really don't need to go over that if you're targeting the right people per day and you're able to do a high value campaign as well. But again, here is where you can adjust it. If you'd like to do more, you can do more. The more active that you are on LinkedIn, the more favorably the algorithm sees you. I'm super active on LinkedIn, for example, and that means that I can get away with a higher amount, but I don't. I leave it. I don't need to overdo it. I just stick to these limits here and I make sure that I'm not going to get banned in any way, shape or form. I don't want to draw attention to myself on LinkedIn. I just keep it to these ones here. Now, another point, LinkedIn doesn't know the difference between an automated action on LinkedIn and a manual one. That's why you'll have seen if you do a lot of stuff on LinkedIn that's manual, you manually connect with someone, manually connect with someone else, keep going, keep going, keep going. There will be a point where you get a message from LinkedIn that says, don't overdo it. You've hit your limit for today. Wait a little bit of time. That's the same thing as this here. It does not know whether it's automated or not, but it will know if you start overdoing stuff and you go from zero to a hundred straight away. But this is why it's a good idea to keep it sustainable, keep it steady, keep it within these limits. However, you do what you like. This is where you have the freedom to do it and you can adjust it, put it lower, put it higher, up to you. And that will be for this account here. It'll be for the account that you have associated and linked to your LinkedIn profile. And that will be the one that these limits apply to. This is how you can make sure your LinkedIn profile stays safe. You do not want to lose out on over 800 million leads it's worth just keeping it safe instead of getting shadow banned. You want to try it out for yourself? Click the link in the description below.